Welcome to your dream and his interpretation again today. How are you? I'm so delighted to meet with you here today again. If this is your first time on this channel, it's all about dreams and interpretation, okay? God speaks to us in the dream and it's very important you know what God is telling you in your dream. That's what exactly I do here. So in case you have dream bothering you, drop it at the comment section. I have two, three rules to that. One, your name. Number two, your location. And number three, make your dream brief. Don't write long dreams because of time for me. I may not have much time. So right, very quickly today, Aya, interesting, Mark from South Africa. Mark from South Africa. I begin today's episode with your dream. You said, I dreamt I was eating rats on my dining table with three of my friends and it tastes very sweet. <laughs> But I've never eaten rats in real life. I don't like rats. Please, what is the meaning of such dream? I love your channel. All right, all right, all right. Max, how does the rat taste like? You say it tastes very sweet. Well, I have never eaten rat, so I don't know how it tastes. But it's uh, funny to hear that you are eating rat on your dining table with three of your friends, and you say it tastes very sweet. But in real life, you say you have never eaten rat. But now in your dream, you have eaten rat. So what does that mean? You want to know? Could it be that uh, you are possessed with the spirit of rat? Not at all. Okay, let's get to know the meaning of your dream. Now, listen, uh, Mark. Now, when you see yourself on dining table with three of your friends and you were eating rat, now be careful. That means you are imbibing and learning some behaviors that are not good. All right? You are learning. You are accepting, you know, receiving some behaviors that are not good, immoral behaviors maybe wrong advice from your friends that together you undone it so that means you have to watch uh, the kind of advice now you are receiving from your friends okay so that's why you see you are eating rat okay that's not good for you at all all right together with your friends at the dining table eating rat no that means you are with people that are possibly saying some things that are not good it's not part of your life before and now you want to imbibe it you want to receive some negative advice that can turn your life upside down so be careful please not to take such kind of thing not to accept any advice that is not good for your living that is not good for your person and go and activate it and then it shatters your destiny so be very careful okay you might be a very calm good person and now somebody tell you man you can make some business by stealing by duping people you know by swindling people and all that don't accept such kind of thing that is rat that you are eating so avoid that okay next time don't eat rat again in your dream god bless you all right the next one quickly is uh is it Kas, Kasmi, Kas, Kasime, Sarah, Kasimi Sarah from Uganda, from Uganda. You said, praise God. What does it mean for a person to dream back to his village? Okay, you are back to your village and find, uh, find their house very dirty and full of rats when his wife is not there. I love your channel so much. All right, thank you for loving uh, my channel so much. But take notice of your dream here because you said you come back uh, from somewhere uh, to your village and you find uh, the house very dirty, full of rat, full of rat. That means evil has taken over your family. Evil has taken over your family. All right, Sarah, please take notice of that. Evil has taken over your family, maybe because of your absence. Are you a married woman? And maybe you went somewhere, you leave your family and then by the time you come back, you discover rats everywhere. That means evil have taken over your family, your children, everybody. All right? They have left the path of God. They are doing what they like. And then immorality has come into the family and has berated the family completely. So this is not a positive dream at all. You must be careful. That means your impact on your family cannot be overemphasized. So once you leave your family and you don't bother with your family, definitely immorality will take over your family. All kinds of evil will come into your family. That is why you saw the house so dirty, everywhere full of rats. Some bad spirit has come into your family, your children, and they have started misbehaving. So you need to be careful. That means you cannot go away from your family don't keep yourself at distance with your family that i'm talking about your immediate family your children you have responsibility to be around them that's why rats will take over everywhere so you have to be careful please and make sure you are monitoring the spiritual growth and welfare of your family that's your dream kasimi sarah from uganda good i hope you have learned from your dream uh the next one is uh Susan from Maryland, USA. You said, hi, man of God. I dreamt I saw a lot of rats on my bed. I was scared and tried to drive them out, but they wouldn't go away, rather trying to attack me. 
when I jump off my sleep. I humbly need your interpretation on this. Thanks for this amazing work you do. All right. Uh, um, that is uh, Susan from Maryland. Susan from Maryland in USA. Please take notice. Uh, your dream here indicates there are criminals all around you because you saw rats all over your bed. You are trying to send them away and they are trying to even attack you. So your dream here means there are criminals all around you. You have to tread with care where you live because this dream shows that bad boys, bad boys are all around you. You know, bad guys are there. So you must be careful. Otherwise, they can victimize you. They can hurt you. They can attack you, they can ruin you, they can kill you. So be careful. I think from this dream, you need to be very, very careful. If you need to pray and ask God if you should still live within that premises or you change the environment, fine. Your life is more important than anything else. So when you have dream and you see a lot of rats on your bed, a lot of rats, I mean, trying to attack you, you're trying to grab them away, that means it's either you leave the place for them since you can't grade them out or they will attack and ruin you. So be careful. The rats here, are people that are bad around you bad boys bad guys all around the place criminals that can swindle that can steal that can hurt you if care is not taken so please be very careful all right and take necessary step if possible like i advise to leave that environment change another apartment so that you can be secured all right that's your dream um susan all the way from maryland in united states of america uh, the next dream comes from uh, Sonia from Ohio, also in United States of America. You say, good day, man of God. Uh, please, I came online to search for a dream I had last night when I found your channel. Uh, I don't know if you can help me. By the grace of God, the Spirit of God in me will help you. I had a dream that was so weird. To me, I saw a, a, live, a live rat in my deep freezer. <laughs> live rat in my deep freezer. I mean a living rat. When the freezer is on everything inside is iced but only this rat was alive this is so weird i woke up disturbed i woke up disturbed yes you have to be disturbed seriously because even if it's me open my freezer and i saw a live rat inside the freezer i mean there's something behind this there's something there's something behind this okay there's something behind this sonia you open your freezer and you saw life, life rat living inside the ice inside. The rat was living in your dream, right? Yes, that is a very significant message. What is God trying to tell you, Sonia? Every other thing iced, but the rat was alive inside the freezer. <laughs> rat alive inside your freezer. Ah, God is telling you something important you know what that means there is an evil thought inside your heart you have not let go evil thought something bad there's something wrong there's an that's an offense in your heart you need to let go a bad bad thought that's the rat in your freezer bad thought in your heart you didn't allow to go you refuse to let go you know what that may be bitterness unforgiveness you won't let it go that's why it's living that's the rat that is living inside your deep freezer. How did you feel when you saw it in the dream? You weren't happy. You were scared. Now, when you keep grudges, you keep bitterness in your heart, that's exactly what it means. Anytime God looks at you, it's not happy. Because it's like a rat in your deep freezer. Can you be comfortable with it? So your heart is God's deep freezer. Your heart, your heart is God's deep freezer. And now you allow living rat inside it. A bad thought. A thought that can hurt people, a thought of vengeance, a thought of bitterness. I will not forgive him, or I will not forgive him. I will make sure I deal with him. I will make sure I kill him. I will make sure I show him. Ah, that is a living rat inside your deep freezer. Okay? God owns your heart, and your heart is the deep freezer of God. Why will you allow bitterness? Why will you allow hatred to remain in that heart? That is what your dream means. So, as I'm interpreting your dream, you know. You know, and you, I'm sure you know who you kept in your mind. Somebody in your mind that you have vowed you cannot forgive. Please, that is a living rat. Let it go. Get it out of the freezer and let the freezer be. Okay? Of, of such thing and let it be carrying the right stuff that should mean for it. Have good things, good thought in your heart. Not such kind of bad thought in your heart. So that is the rat that you saw in your deep 
freezer. I hope you will learn and forgive and throw away the bitterness that is in your heart. And God will change your destiny for better. Good one. So the last one I will take in this episode is Peter. Uh, Peter from Zambia. You say, what does it mean to see a dead rat in your kitchen? And I did not apply any rat poison. All right. Um, a dead rat in your kitchen and you did not allow, uh, apply any rat rat poison. I mean, uh, Peter from Zambia. You enter your kitchen. Maybe you want to cook. All right. I don't know what you're trying to prepare. Maybe some nice BBQ and jollof and whatever rice. And, and then you just spotted a dead rat and you didn't apply uh, rat poison, as you said. Now, this dream is significant. Do you know what God have done? God just gave you victory over someone who wants to take away your livelihood, your source of livelihood. There is someone that wants to take away your source of livelihood. Somebody is trying to frustrate your job to make sure you lose your source of livelihood and God just help you handle that person. Interesting dream. Wonderful dream. Dream of victory. Somebody trying to attack your source of livelihood. That's why you find the rat in your kitchen dead. Somebody who is trying to attack your source of livelihood and God just help you to get rid of that person. You need to give God thanks. This is something God has done for you. Maybe where you are working, somebody has been threatening you that you are going to be fired, you are going to be this, and instead of you getting fired, God designed it that it was that person that is fired. That person is fired instead of you being fired because he ducks the pit, he falls into it. So that is an amazing dream, Peter, all the way from Zambia. If I were you, I would go on my knee and lift my hands and worship God and thank the Lord for frustrating the counsel of the wicked over my career. That is an interesting one. Next time, you won't see any rat again in your kitchen. God has given you victory. So these are the ones that are relative to rat dreams that I picked from my mail and WhatsApp to attend to today. All right, I'm going to take other dreams again in the subsequent episode. Did you enjoy today's episode? Did you learn anything? Drop it at the comment section. You have dream, you want me to help you also? Drop it at the comment section. At my free time, I will come there and respond to eat all right you want to be my friend i would like to be your friend too easy that's it we just be, join my partners join my patron okay the link for patron is there just join my patron sign up you have 20 dollars or 50 per month as the lord give you grace just sign in okay partnership you want to support my ministry you want to be a vip while well, you're a vip then you're going to have me one-on-one -on -one to talk with you regularly to counsel you, to pray with you, to interpret your dreams regularly for a VIP. Easy. Just get my number and communicate me and I'll tell you how you can be. And I'm sure you will enjoy the relationship. All right. Thank you for watching today's episode. i see you again in the subsequent episode. But don't forget, knowing what your dream means is vital to your safety. Say it with me. Knowing what your dream means is vital to your safety. All right. I'll see you again next episode. Bye for now. I'm Paul S. Joshua.